Portable fanatics rejoice. The latest update to iOS is here and gamers should be happy. Well, most of them. Hey everybody, I'm Wilder Weir and welcome to the Gamer News. Now of course, with any new iOS update, there's always going to be things to complain about, and we will. But first, here's what to expect from the update. With Apple rolling out the latest iOS and iPad OS system updates this week, update 14.5 comes with a number of new features. The most exciting feature for people that actually use their devices to play video games is the ability to connect with the PS5's DualSense as well as Xbox Series XS controllers. Other new features of the iOS update includes the ability to unlock your iPhone with your Apple Watch even if you're wearing a face mask. More robust privacy settings have been added as well to name a few of the updates. This update comes in the wake of Apple announcing a big expansion of the games available in Apple Arcade, with more than 30 games being added. Microsoft finally launched their Xbox Cloud Gaming Beta for both PC and iOS, so existing Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscribers can try out their favorite games from either their Apple phone or tablet or their Windows 10 PC. Check out the article at thegamer.com in the link below to learn how to set it all up. It's a little tricky. Alright, now it's time to complain. So, your PS5 DualSense controller is compatible with your iPhone, right? But why not with your PS4? The controller's inability to work a PS4 became even more frustrating when it was discovered that it does work on a PS3. Now it works on devices not connected to PlayStation at all, while the PS4 looks on more confused than ever. So why is the DualSense giving the PS4 the cold shoulder? Let us know what you think in the comments below. I'm Wilder Weir, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget, learn how to start playing the Xbox Cloud Gaming Beta for PC and iOS right now in the article below.